Hi guys, it's Darren here from DeepBlueApps.com. We've got a brand new tutorial. This one is based on a RPG type game and moving, looking around your actual field of view. You notice if you're coming up here, you smell a little bit of danger. You're not sure what's ahead of you. You can actually have a little look ahead of you um, just to see any upcoming dangers. And it works in all directions. We're actually freezing the character when we've got the camera working, so we can't actually move while we're looking around. And I say it works in all directions. It also works as well when you get to the end of the scene. Now this is the edge of the scene here. Um, so we've gone by the edge of the scene now. We'll have a look and you can see you can see beyond even the edge of the scene uh, with this code. So pretty useful to have a look at any upcoming dangers. Uh, you might be facing in an RPG type game or um, dual stick shooter or whatever you want to use it for. It's got a few uses. So pretty easy to implement. I mean you could also, this is what I would do, um, obviously I've not done this for this tutorial, but you could also set this up in the joystick or buttons for your movement uh, controls. So you can have a little button here that just says look or camera and then you can hold the button down and move your joystick up, down, left or right to uh, implement the code as well. So you don't have to have four separate buttons on the screen. You can just have one button and use your normal control method to, uh, to have a look in front of you to the left, down or right. I'm just going to go in and show you how we've done it. We've got some attributes here. We've got five booleans. We've got camera moving because we uh, we don't want the hero to be able to move when the camera's moving so we've got that camera moving boolean there camera up, down, left and right just go in you can see we've got the four directions um, for the camera here like I said you probably set this up with your control joystick or buttons instead of having four separate camera buttons on the scene but there's obviously this is just a quick demo just to show you it working um, so we've got game camera moving is false Touch is pressed, then again camera moving to true, and again camera up is true. Just reuse these actors and repeated that process for the down, obviously changing the booleans for the left and also for the right. You can see display text right, again camera moving is false, touch is pressed, then again camera moving is true, and again camera right is true. So just repeat that steps for the up, down, left, and right. For the camera. Going into the magic, this is where the uh, the hero, we've unlocked the hero. We've got a game moving camera is false, then constrain camera origin X to self position X minus 240, camera origin Y to self position Y <coughs> minus 160. If we don't have these constraints on and just use a control camera and go back into the scene, we'll have a look at the camera. You can see even though I've got the camera right down, it still doesn't work unless you have a constraint. I'm just going to turn these off and the control on just to show you it not working. Uh, the, when it becomes apparent you can't use this is at the end of the scene. You can see here we're at the end of the scene and we can't go past the end of the scene and if we press up um, it doesn't reset your character in the middle. You can see there it's a bit of a bug. So don't use just the control camera. I've just put that in there just to show you it not working and why you shouldn't use it. So using the constraints we can then go up past the boundary of the scene, still press up and the camera will act as normal. So let's get back in and carry on. Some simple move around um, controls here, just for the hero, obviously you'll have your own control for the hero, so keyboard left, move left, keyboard right, move right and so on and so on, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Now we've got a reset camera, if game camera moving is true, which it will be if you press the uh, any of the buttons, after three seconds we're resetting the game camera moving to false, and that's just to allow your hero to be able to move again. And game up, um, sorry the up here, we've got a 
game at camera up is true, then interpolate the camera origin Y to self position Y. Now because the camera starts at 0, 0, obviously you need to just leave that as it is, the camera origin Y to the self position Y. So that will obviously move the camera up um, to 40. Now in the otherwise section we've got down here, if game camera down is true, we'll interpolate the scene camera origin, oops, press that off, the Y, to self position Y minus 320. And then for the left, game camera left is true, the scene camera origin X to self position X minus 480. And then for the right, Game camera right is true, we're moving the camera to the self position X. And then we're resetting the X and Y's, and when we reset the X and Y's, the camera will actually move back to the hero, um, will interplate back to the hero's X and Y. So we've got an any rule here, if the scene camera origin X equals self position X, or scene camera origin X equals self position x minus 480 so basically when the camera's moved all the way to the left and the right then we're just changing left and right to false and after one second we're interplating the camera back to self position x minus 240 which will be bang in the middle of the scene and then reset the y we're doing pretty much the same but for the y axis and this is scene camera origin y equals self position y or seen camera origin y equals self position y at minus 320. So basically, if the camera's gone up or gone back down, then we're changing camera up to false, camera down to false, and after one second, we're interpolating the camera back to self position y minus 160. And that's it, guys, really. Pretty neat. Like I said, I probably have all this code inside a button. Um, if you're making an RPG type game, you could use your actual control stick with a button here that just says. Uh, look around or camera or something like that, hold the button down, press your up, down, left or right button to activate these. But like I've said, for this demo, just simply got um, the four buttons on the scene here. So pretty useful if you want to have a look at what's coming in front of you, have a look at any upcoming dangers, probably find some shortcuts or whatever you want. But yeah, very useful guys for RPG type games and probably many other games as well. So bye for now guys and thanks for the support over at deepblueapps.com and don't forget to download our free resource centre full of free templates, tools and videos. And I'll speak to you soon guys, take care.